Hey guys, and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. On this video, we're taking some unique cut of pork that I found. I've never actually seen it before. We're going to be doing some Asian influenced pork. So let's get started. All right, so what I found here is some brisket rib tips. And at first I thought these were beef when I saw the label, but these are actually, uh, you know, trimmings from pork, from, from spare ribs. I've actually never seen them labeled as brisket bones before, but these things look really nice and meaty. Um, there really wasn't a whole lot of bones in there. So I thought these would be great for some Asian style ribs. So let's go ahead and get these opened up. All right, so here's what we got. We got we got some bones over here. So these are definitely from, uh, you know, trimmed up uh, spare ribs, obviously. And we have some nice piece of meat on this end. Um, just some bones here, which I'm sure we can trim these out once they're cooked. But I'm going to cook them up just like these. And let's go ahead and make our rub. All right, for our rub, got some fresh cracked black pepper. Some turbinado sugar or sugar in the raw. Some kosher salt, some onion powder, and we got some Chinese five spice. And that's it, nice and simple. We can go ahead and mix that up. I'm going to go ahead and crush down these uh, onion powder clumps here. All right, we'll go ahead and coat our ribs here or pork shouldn't call them ribs with our uh, Asian rub all right for this cook we're gonna be using the uh, offset smoker I'm gonna be using my big boy to uh, smoke these up so let's get these on all right we got our pit up 225 we're gonna run 225 250 <clears throat> And we'll let these go for, uh, we're getting about three hours. We'll start checking on them. I'm not going to foil or anything. We're just going to do a straight cook. So we'll probably look at about four or five hour cook on this. All right, while our ribs are on the smoker, let's get our uh, Asian barbecue sauce started. What I got here is uh, some hoisin sauce. I'm going to throw some sesame seed in there, sesame seed oil. Some honey. And some sriracha sauce. Sriracha. And that's about it. Nice and simple. We'll go ahead and uh, put this on low and we'll let this uh, simmer until our ribs are uh, ready to be glazed. All right, so our ribs have been about four hours. I'm going to go ahead and start basting with our barbecue sauce. And I'm going to be doing this for about another hour or so until these are done. And I'm going to check doneness by using a probe to see if they go right in nice and easy. So I will keep basting until we get to that point. All right, I think we are there. Let's go ahead and pull these bad boys off. Got a nice dark red on these look incredible all right so here we go let's go ahead and slice into these I don't know if you can see that but look how juicy those are kind of reminds me of a uh, flank steak now we do have bones up at the top here All right, so I think I get where the brisket name's coming from. I mean, if you look at that, that looks like a, a nice slice of brisket. Got a nice smoke ring on it. Let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, 
So this definitely looks like brisket. Let's go ahead and give this a try. That's incredible. It is smoky, tender. That Asian barbecue sauce on the rub is incredible. I love Asian flavors on pork. But I can see why they call this a brisket. Um, it's cut like a brisket. Trim it like a brisket. Eat it like a brisket. You guys have got to give this a try. Let me know what you think. Remember, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you guys see this kind of meat, this cut of meat, regularly in your rest, uh, grocery stores, let me know. I'd like to know if this is common out there. This is the first time I've seen it. So I'll see you guys on the next run. Thanks for watching.